Okay, so we'll just start seated on the mat. And we'll take your feet wide. So take your feet about as wide as the mat. We're just going to do a few stretches. So holding on to the shins below the knees. Uh, just a seated cat and cow. So around the spine, exhale, and then lift the chest, inhale. So exhale and inhale. But really make it nice and big. So really around the spine, and then lift the chin, and exhale back. Inhale up. And then just one more time. So just getting a little bit of mobility through the spine. And now take your knees side to side, right to left. Right and left, just a couple times. So nice and simple. And then take both your knees over to the right. And we're going to take a little twist. So just place that uh, left hand above the right knee and lift the spine up and just take a little twist. So just warming up through the spine. And then let's take it over to the other side. Take a little twist. Again, lift up nice and tall. Really press through the hand on the thigh. And then cross the ankles. Grab hold of your back. And we're going to hang down. So just, just stand with the feet about hip distance apart and hang down. So let the head hang heavy. Crown of the head hangs to the mat. I'll cue us, so don't worry, just hang down. And just feel the lengthening of the spine from the traction of the head. Relax the shoulders. And then maybe just rock the body side to side. Nod and shake the head. Just feel into it. And now maybe take the wrists behind the legs. A little deeper stretch. And release. Take hold of the band on the floor. Bend the knees as much as you need to. I'm going to roll up really slowly. So I'll count for us. Here it's eight. Tuck the tail. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Roll the shoulders back. And now we're going to come to a sumo squat position. So take the feet a bit wider than the hips. Knees align with second toe. And you're going to sit down, so with a straight spine, keeping the knees behind the toes, and then come up. So take the band above the head, we go squat and stand. Now as we stand, pull the band either in front of you or behind you. So just see what works for you. But place attention on the bands. We want to really squeeze through the back muscles, the lats. So squeeze the shoulder blades down and together each time we stand. So either behind or in front or alternate. But nice deep squat if your knees are okay. Exhale as we come up. So if it's not enough, just bring the hands closer together on the band. So you can really feel the work in the shoulders and in the back muscles. Exhale as we stand up. Let's have a quick look. Now to keep the arms straight if you can. Nice, Jackie. Beautiful. Last two. And a last one. Okay, let's bring the band down. Place it under your right foot. Now step the right foot forward, step the left leg back into a lunge position. If you have any knee issues, your knees don't like a lunge, just keep it small. If you can, nice long step on train tracks with the back knee almost touching the back, uh, the, the mat at the back. We bring the hands straight down. I'm going to take a little bicep curl. So we'll just start with a bicep curl up and down. Keep the elbows glued to the waist and make it work for yourself. So adjust your grip on the band if you need to. Exhale up and inhale down. All we do now is stand up as the band goes down. So it's a little lunge with a bicep curl. Four more just like this. Four. Three, shoulders down, brace the belly. And now we're just going to take the arms out to the side. So up, shoulders. 
but at any time just adjust your grip on the bed four more four three so we're working into those legs the glutes and the shoulders now one bicep curl and then one lateral raise so lift again if you yeah, don't have those knee issues see if you can go quite nice and low with that back knee one more time okay now all we do is cross the band and we're just going to come to a comfortable standing position so we're not lunging right now we're just standing now imagine this is a sword you pull it extend flex and down you pull your sword you extend reach up and down so working into the triceps so extend that arm from the elbow and we keep the elbow nice and high just one more hold it here now a little pulse just out 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 so you should feel that uh, shoulder working hard you should feel the triceps a little bit last four three two and the last one okay good stuff now let's take the band under your left foot and a nice big step back we we'll start with just bicep curl so up and down and up good let me see good up and down up and down good form everybody nice deep see if you can sink quite nice and low into your lunge now all we do is we take our lunge down and up with a bicycle down and up all right now let's take the shoulder so we take it up and down and up and down so really work into those legs nice a wide stance so check your stance feel into the front glute as we come up squeeze the front glute combine one bicep one shoulder lateral raise shoulders down chest proud and even breath exhale as we come to stand okay awesome now just coming to a comfortable start again we cross the band we're just going to work into the tricep with that little sword pull so what we do is pull it up extend flex and now adjust the grip so you really can feel the work happening so just feel into it see where you need to grip the band and nice deep even breaths let's see so make it strong now let's keep it up and pulse pulse now to keep the elbow high on a diagonal up to the sky the back corner extend the arm yes good last two and the last one beautiful let the band the long band go for a moment just take a little shoulder stretch just a little one one side and then the other and then we're going to grab our around that bed and place it above the knees so make sure it's nice and flat especially if you've got the, the plastic ones like I have so it's nice and flat and nice and comfortable and now we're going to hold on to our chair okay straight leg any leg and let's just lift now what we want to do is have the knee face straight down so we're not out 
hips are forward and we just squeeze the glute. You can point or flex whatever suits you. Another set. So relax the shoulders, soft face, soft neck. Just a soft bend in the bottom knee and brace the belly. Squeeze the glutes. So just working through the hamstrings and glutes. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing but bend the knee. Push back. So now flex the foot and press the heel straight back. Two. Three. Good. Now that supporting leg will start to get a little bit tight at some point. So take a break whenever you need to. Keep the supporting knee soft. Relax the shoulders within. That's good. <laughs> Almost there. Last two. Good. Now all we do is take the leg to the side. Side. Now the hips face forward. And the leg goes straight out to the side. Six. Seven. So we're doing two sets of each. So hold on. Eight more. Eight. Good. So knee facing forward. Leg goes straight out to the side. Nice, Jackie. Nice, Sheila. Four more. Four. Three. Two. And now we take a little circle, so stay strong, circle, one direction, two, three, four, stay strong, stay strong, lift up out of the hips, relax the shoulders, other direction, eight, seven, six, so getting really strong through the glutes and the hips, abductors, last four, three, two, one. Extend that leg about 45 degrees out. So to the back corner, turn the knee out and lift. Two, three, almost there, hold on. Last four. Three, so really getting into the glute this time. Two and one. Bring the feet hip distance apart and just let your upper body drop between the arms. So just a little release there. Lift the tail, the tail burn up. Okay, and now let's take the whole lot to the other side. So starting with the other leg going straight back. Here we go. We lift. Two. Now again, lift strongly out of the hips, relax the shoulders, and brace the belly. Six, seven, eight more. Relax the toes. So we put all our effort into the muscle. Four, three, Two, flex the knee and push back, straight back, just straight back, as if wanting to push that heel into an imaginary wall at the back for five, six, nice deep even breaths, seven, eight more. So we're really strengthening through those hips and glutes, really important, um, especially if you get lower back issues. Eight more. Eight. Straight back, straight back. Beautiful. Seven. Hold on. Nice steps. Ram, I can't see you, but I trust you. Five. Hi, Jane. Hi, Loie. Seven. Circle. Circle. So we come to the side now. We'll get the little lifts going next after this, so the leg goes straight out to the side now, and circle, six, keep your body as still as you can, and now circle in the other direction, four, eight, seven, six, 
five, hold on, four, three, deep breaths, you're getting such tight glutes, straight out to the side, little lift, 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 three, five, six, yes you can, just take a little stand up in between if you need to, and then come back when you feel good. Just take a deep breath and continue. Two, almost there. Three, four, five. Really stretch the band, make it count. As we fatigue, we don't let up. Extend the leg about 45 degrees out and back to the back corner. Turn the knee out to the side, three, so really into the glute now. That's a nice angle for gluteus maximus. Make it a minimus. Four, three, two, one. And just take a little stretch. Just allow your whole spine to lengthen and drop the upper body and lift the tail. And now, we're going to take just a little glute stretch. So first take the band off. Now you can be on the high end or on the low end of the chair. If you're on the low end, just bend the supporting knee and bend down. So it just depends on your, your range. It doesn't really matter. As long as you can feel a stretch in the outer hip. So knee goes out. Now turn your body a little bit to that top leg, toward that top leg, so we get a little bit more into the glute. And now let's take it to the other side. So again, you've got high or low, you know how you feel with, with it. Press the thigh down, bend the knee. So we just want that stretch in the glute, and then turn your body a little bit toward that top leg. stretch. Okay, awesome. Let's uh, come down to the mat and we're going to grab our uh, long band just a little bit more for the arms and then we'll get to some core work. So um, place the band around the arches or the soles of the feet in the center there. And your legs can be straight or they can be slightly bent. We hold the band so that we've got a nice bit of stretch on it. And all we do is pull the arms back. So some of us have done this one before. So we're just working into that upper back. Rhomboid. Exhale and inhale. And as we pull back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. The arms go straight forward. And now back, rotate up, rotate forward and extend. So elbows back, just rotate the forearms upward from the elbow. So we got a little rotator raise, working into the rotator cuff. Those little muscles that keep the shoulder stable. Let's have a look. So nice deep even breaths. Okay, so arms can just go straight forward. So just a little bend up and then straight forward. That's it, beautiful Sheila. That's it, Deb's good. Good work, just a few more. That's it, just straight back with the elbows, Jane, when you're ready. Nice, Loie, brace the belly. The elbows stay at shoulder height, Loie. And then just reach, yeah, just bend the elbow, just rotate from the shoulder. Good work. Last two. One more time. So awesome strengthening for the rotator cuff. Now a little bit less um, bad, so we can come to a slow V. Now if you want a challenge, lean back a little bit with your upper body and engage the core. And then just take the arms up. So yeah, really good strengthening for those rowers like Loey. Just nice big V. We reach the arms up. Up and up and down and down. 
Really nice big V. Is there some complaining happening? I hope not. Me. <laughs> okay. Right, now bring the hands together, bring it into the chest, extend in and forward. So we want to get into the triceps once again. The idea is to bring the band together in the center of the chest and then a nice big stretch. So again, you can keep that little hinge at the hip to engage the core as we do this. So just like growing, but extend that, straighten the arms. And then as we bring the band back together, keep the elbows back and then extend. So elbows stay back, they stay back, they stay back, and now they come forward. They're back, we pull the elbows back, and now they come forward. Let's have a look. Good, and if it feels like it's not enough effort, just grip the band a little bit more. Make sure that it's nice and secure on your feet, nice steps. That's beautiful form, Jane, beautiful control. Good, keep it going. Okay, awesome. Let the band go. We're just going to take opposite hand to outside of foot and lean back. So we should get a nice stretch through the back of the shoulder, just a little stretch. Now let's take it to the other side, so just a little stretch in between. Okay. Let's take the arms back, open the chest. So get a little stretch through the biceps, just a nice lift of the chest, lift the chin. And now we'll take our assisted roll back. So we'll just all try the, the band just for the feel of it. Place the band again around the instep soles of the feet. Knees can be slightly bent or legs straight. We hold on to the edge of the band. And then roll back, roll up as smoothly as possible. Most of you know to just go for it. We'll tuck the tail, slowly roll the spine back down onto the mat. Head goes down, tuck the chin, and without any jerking, holding the band as lightly as possible, we'll come forward. So up from neutral, round the lower back, lie down. And now you can keep the band, or you can let it go. So we come, if you're not working with the band, take the arms overhead, then up above the shoulders, and without jerking, we roll up. So back, 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 and smooth as. So tuck the tail as we roll back, round the whole back, the back of the head touches, arms above the shoulders, smooth. Okay, so we're just working toward that. We're really engaged with the core, feel the lovely kind of massaging action on the back. So. Trying to never forget this one. Because <laughs> it's so nice. So just take one more round and when you're ready, take a little hamstring stretch. And we're gonna grab our uh, circular band, so the, the booty band, and place it um, above the knees. We'll get back to our core in a minute. So the band above the knees, nice and flat, so take your time to adjust it. We're in the center of mat, we lie down, we place the heels underneath the knees, palms down by the hips, and just a bridge. So we lift and lower. Now relax your neck, and just before you lift the hips, you squeeze the glutes. Good. Now keep the tension on the booty band. Last two. Okay, now as we go up, we hold, and then we take the knees out, and out, and lower. So you might wanna go onto your heels as long as you swivel on your feet so the knees don't go out of alignment. So keep the knee alignment with the hip and ankle, and then take the knees out, and out, but keep the hips high. So lift high, hold high. 
and then drop. So we've got lots of work for the glutes and the legs, the thighs today. Beautiful turn happening because we are all so sexy. Yay! <laughs> Keep it going. <laughs> Almost there. Two more. Now hold it up and just a little one. Out, 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 out. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down, bring the knees into the chest. And then take the band and place it at the feet. So place the band around the soles of the feet and take the knees above the hips. All we're going to do is a little bicycle. So this time, so from that middle position, we press the band out and out. Now, if you feel any strain on your back or this is a little too strong, you can just place the hands under the sacrum. If you feel that this is not quite enough challenge, lift your shoulder blades off the mat. So nice and high. So now remember you can stay with the hands under the sacrum and just working with the legs. Or we're going to take a crisscross. So your opposite hand to the outside of the knee. Really brace the belly. Exhale. Inhale. And stay with this for a while, so stay strong. Eight more. Seven. Six. Let me see. Good. Opposite hand to outside of the knee. Okay, hug the knees in for a moment. And all we do is keep the feet slightly apart. So we've got tension on the band. And I'll see how you go. Both legs out and in with the tension on the band. Tension on the band. So out and in. Challenge. Lift the shoulders back and in. Keep the tension. Yes, you can. Exhale as we lift the shoulders. Challenge. Arms overhead, but keep the shoulders up. So this is like a Pilates. Double leg stretch. In, out, in, out. Stay with it. Lift the legs up. Now knees can be bent if you need to. All we do is lift the tailbone. So just lift the tailbone using the, the lower abdominal. So your option here is just with the knees bent or with the legs straight. Challenge. Reach for the toes. We reach and down and reach. Four more. Four. Three, two, and the last one. Let's bring the knees in. Take the band out of the way. And then we're going to roll up. We're going to come onto our hands and knees. Now take your knees back so that there's a straight line diagonally from the knees to the shoulders. All we're going to do is press back like in a child's pose and then come to a little chaturanga crocodile so press back and forward really slow so back and forward now your challenge if you can from an upright position here so bend the knees and then a little crocodile Press back, now brace the belly. Let's see a straight spine. Back, now challenge, lift one leg. 
We go back and then lift the other leg. So just stay at your own level, but don't cheat yourself. So back. Let's see. Nice. Very good. Back. Beautiful, Jackie. Good. Nice, Sheila. Come on, Debs. Go, go. Strong. Woohoo! So press back, bent knees. Come forward, lift one leg. Can you do one more? And then press back and press into a downward dog and just hold. Just hold that stretch for a moment. Now here's your little challenge. Bend your knees, send your hips back and jump through. Okay. Take the feet together and the knees out. So we're disengaging the hip flexors and then come halfway down and up. Halfway becomes placing the shoulder blades on the mat because you're strong enough. Now if it's this too much, you just come down halfway. So you, you choose but around the lower back and then come up to neutral. So if you can, just work with it. See if you can just try one. If there's a little bit of jerking, that's okay. But you can always do a little bit more, get a little bit, a little bit stronger, just by challenging yourself, even for one repetition at max. Let's stay down and just pulse and pulse. So lift the shoulder blades off the mat and pulse. Keep it coming. Hold on. Okay, come up. Up. And back. And pulse. Four, four, three, two, one. Come up, find neutral, and round back. And pulse for four, three, pull the belly in tightly. Let's come up. So up, and up, and back, and back, and pulse. Two, three, last time. Up, up, hold on, and back, and back, and pulse. Two, three, and four. Roll onto your side. Your option, so similar to last week for those who are here, is to have your back foot in front on the toe. Lift up out of the um, shoulder. <laughs> okay? Top arm can be up or on the hip. All we do is lift and lower. Or both legs. Lift and lower. So lift the hips and lower the hips. Lift and lower. Stay strong. Five, six, seven. All we do is extend the arm overhead as we lift the hips. Now very careful not to dump into that bottom shoulder. Remember you can keep your your top leg, the toe in front, four, three, two, all we do as we come up is grab the money out of your back pocket and then give it away. So grab and give. Lift your hips as high as you can, only four more, three, last two, and the last one. Good work. Swap it over to the other side. So nice and simple. Option to have the top leg toe in front or the leg straight. Top arm up or hip. Here we go. It's up and down. So really lift the hips as high as you can. Brace the belly, shoulders down. 
As we come up, the arm goes overhead for eight. And seven. Now, big smile because Monday is already looking much better. Four. Lift the hips high. You'll be so happy you did this. Two. Grab your money. And oh. So just reach under the hip. Lift the hips as you do so nice and high. Lift up out of the supporting shoulder. Five. And six. And seven. And a last one. Beautiful. Let's extend both legs. It doesn't have to be super wide. Just a little breather with our saw. Inhale. Exhale. So neutral and reach. Tall spine and reach. So just when you're ready, inhale and exhale. Nice deep breaths. Only four more. Three. Okay, we're almost at the end of our workout. When you're ready, grab your long band. Wrap it around your front foot. And then press it down at the back with the back foot. So we want to work into our adductors, the inner thighs. So you might want to hold on to the end. See how you go. So we're on the elbow or we can lie down but never dumping into the shoulder. So always strong here. Turn the knee down, turn the toe down. Lift up tall and then we take our little lift. So we go up. Two. Three. Four. So the trick here is to keep that external rotation. So turn the knee down, toes down. Five. Or something like that. Six. We got some extra in there. But that's good. Okay, let's hold it up. Circle. One direction. Two. So this should feel really strong on the inner thigh. Let's see. Four. Five. Six, nice steps. Seven, toe down, toe down. That's it. Now the other direction. So keep the heel up, toe down, knee down. Two, circle. Three, circle. Four, circle. Five, circle. Six, seven, and eight. Okay, just a little one. So other side. So again, we're gonna take the van, the back foot holds it in place. What the hell am I doing? Sorry. The back foot holds it in place. Then we lift the front foot. Here we go. So a little lift, lifting up and up. Again, strong out of the shoulder. You can also hold with the hand, I've just taken a different <laughs> grip, doesn't matter. Stay with it, keep the knee turning down, heel up. And now circle, other direction. Keep the heel up, toe down, knee down. So really working into that inner thigh area. And deep breaths, hold on. Five. Six, seven, and now in the other direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a last. One. Okay, nice work everybody. Remove the band. Come on to our back and take a little happy baby. And you're going to take hold of the thighs or the calves or the feet. And just a little rock side to side. And now if it's within range, 
just straighten the legs a little bit or a lot. Just feel the stretch on the adductors. And just work with your own body. Nice deep breaths. And then let's bring the toes together, bring the knees together. And just press the knees into the chest, bring the chin up. So you're making a little ball. Release, press the knees away. Little ball. Press away. One more time, little ball. So feel the core there. And release. And now we'll place the right ankle above the left knee. And just press that right thigh away. So again, we should feel that outer hip. And I'll either stay there or take hold of the thigh or the shin and bring the leg in. So we get a nice stretch through the glutes, the hips. Keep pressing the top thigh away, either with, with your muscle or with the hand. Okay, so we've got our right ankle on top, take the left foot to the mat. Now your option is just to take the knees together over to the left or cross the right leg on top. Let's all shift our hips to the right and drop the knees over to the left. So take a little twist. Now dislodge the left shoulder a little bit if it feels okay. We'll just feel a nice rotation along the spine. Head goes to the right. Nice deep breaths. That top leg, just if it feels okay, let's straighten it, even if it's just a little bit. Feel again the stretch through the ITB. And then let's come back to the center, square the hips, and place the left ankle on top. We'll take that hip stretch again. So just really breathe into the lower back. Nice. So now we'll take our rotation. So again, either knees together or slide the top foot across, shift the hips, then we'll take our rotation to the other side. Maybe shift the shoulders so that we get a little bit more rotation along the spine. Nice deep breaths. Now relax the back of the neck, start to soften the face and the shoulders. Top leg, we straighten it. Can be a little, can be a lot, doesn't matter. Just feel a little bit of a stretch through the outer edge of the leg. Let's come back to the center. Bring both knees into the chest and just circle the knees in one direction, just in the one direction, but feel from the tailbone to the side waist to the lower ribs. A nice big circle. And now in the other direction. both legs up to the sky. Now they don't have to be completely straight. I know we don't all have the range in the hamstrings, but work towards straightening the legs. So we want to feel that stretch in the hamstrings. And then let's place the palms down. We're going to use core strength to slowly bring the legs down. But don't get to the floor yet. Come to halfway and hold. Eight, down, seven, six, five, four, 
three, not there yet, two, and one. Stretch the arms overhead, place a little arch under the lower back so we really feel that stretch through the uh, front body. Point the toes, now stretch out the fingers, so really wide. And then make a little fist and flex the feet and crunch up the toes. And then point the feet, point the toes, extend the fingers, reach out. And then a little fist and flex the feet and then crunch up the toes, scrunch them up and then release. Bring the hands out nice and wide like a corpse pose, the feet wide. And just take the head side to side, just releasing a little bit through the neck. Come to the center, scrunch up your face, and then release. And now just take a couple of minutes to relax completely. So let your, bed, your whole body feel heavy. If there's any last stretch that your body wants, you just take it. But just stay in a relaxed corpse pose. And start to breathe really deeply. We'll just take one minute here to relax. And just feel the effect of our, uh, our exercise routine, our practice. And as we relax and breathe deeply in and out through the nose, allow your belly now to just soften and receive the breath. So it rises and it falls. And as we take the last few seconds in relaxation, we feel an immense sense of gratitude to have a whole and functional body and mind. And out of this gratitude, we cultivate our health, our strength, our focus, our balance. With just a couple more deep breaths. When you're ready, just bring the legs together, bring the knees into the chest, give yourself a nice big hug, and then we can rock up or roll to the side, come to any comfortable seated position. We'll take hold of opposite elbows, so it doesn't matter where, if you don't reach the elbow, just reach to the forearm, and take the arms up, take a deep breath in, and then reach the arms forward, bring the palms together. Then inhale up, exhale, and we'll take it on the other side. So other arm on top, and then reach the arms up, elbows hold. Open the arms, reach over to one side, open the chest, open the shoulder, and then take that top arm across the cheek, round all the way, and up across the cheek. And then take that same top arm, reach it over, and we reverse. And then a last deep breath in and a rotation. So rotate to your right as we exhale. Center, we inhale. Exhale, rotate other side. And a last deep breath, promise now. In. And exhale. Have an awesome Monday. Look after yourself.